according to officials cited by the Wall Street Journal on June 29, 2023. While the decision to supply Ukraine with tactical missile system attacks is still pending final approval at the highest levels, the United States has recognized the urgent need to bolster Ukraine's defense capabilities in the coming weeks. U.S. lawmakers submitted a bill to U.S. Congress on June 16, proposing the allocation of $80 million for the purchase of attacks. The supply of these missiles has been a subject of intense debate among American politicians since last year. In July 2022, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan expressed reservations about providing attacks, fearing that such a move could escalate tensions and potentially trigger World War III. However, in 2023, the White House's reluctance has waned regarding various previously withheld military equipment, including Abrams tanks and F-16 fighter jets. In May, President Biden stated that the possibility of supplying attacks to Ukraine was still under consideration. The ATAGMS missiles have a cylindrical body with a tapered profile towards a conical nose cone, improving their aerodynamic properties and enabling stable flight. They are powered by a solid rocket motor, offering increased reliability, quicker response time, and less maintenance compared to liquid-fueled engines. ATAGMS can be equipped with unitary warheads for precise strikes on high-value targets or cluster munition warheads for area attacks. The ATAGMS guidance system combines GPS and INS for accurate navigation and targeting, resisting interference, and minimizing collateral damage. They can be launched from mobile platforms such as the M270 MLRS and the M142 HIMARS, providing high mobility across different terrains. ATAGMS is used to strike high-value targets and provide fire support to ground forces. They have a top speed of approximately Mach 3, 3704, for kilometers per hour, and a range of up to 300 kilometers, 186 miles. Critics argue that allies' hesitation to supply attacks missiles to Ukraine could hinder Kiev's efforts to reclaim the remaining Ukrainian territory. The shortage of long-range weapons could also prolong Russia's aggressive war and result in the loss of thousands of lives. While Washington has so far refrained from providing attacks, Kiev recently received Storm Shadow long-range cruise missiles, with a range exceeding 250 kilometers, from the United Kingdom. If such delivery of attacks missiles were to occur, it would mark a significant development in the Russo-Ukrainian conflict. This delivery would dramatically increase Ukraine's attack capabilities and its capacity to reclaim its occupied territories.